you have just installed Windows 11, and you are thinking to yourself, what should I do now? This video will help you decide what you should do after installing a new Windows 11. Let's get started. First of all, you have to check if any update is available. After the initial installation of Windows 11, there could be an update with new features, bug fixes, or driver updates. To check if there is any update, right-click on the Start button and select Setting. In the left section, you will find Windows Update at the bottom or top at the right side. Then click Check Update to see the available update. If there is any update available, it will show here. You have to click the Available Update, and it will download and install automatically. You can also check the Optional Update option. To check optional updates, click Advanced Options and select Optional Update. Here your available optional update will show up. After the first process, you have to create a restore point before messing something up. Backing up your PC is very important to undo the change in case the system crashes. To create a restore point, click the start icon, type, create restore point on the search box, and select it. After that, select the drive where your system is installed. Then click on create and name your restore point anything you like. Old file deletion. When you upgrade from Windows 10 to 11, the old files from Windows 10 that are no longer needed are still on your drive, just in case you want to roll back in Windows 10. If you enjoy Windows 11, you don't need these unnecessary files. You can delete these files. To delete these extra files, go to Setting, select System, and go to Storage. In Storage Management, select Temporary Files. You will see a section called Previous Windows Installation. I have already deleted it, that's why it's no longer here. You have to select Previous Windows Installation and click Remove Files. Disable all the unnecessary apps from the Startup menu. App enabled in the Startup menu can make your PC's booting time longer. You can disable all the apps that you can open manually later. To disable the Startup app, right-click on the Start button and select Task Manager. Then choose Startup then you will get the option to enable or disable the Startup app. We are almost in the middle of the video. A subscription will be appreciable. You don't want anyone to use your PC. You may wish to change your sign-in options. To do this one right-click the Start icon, then select Setting. Then go to Accounts then select the Sign-in option. While installing Windows 11, you may have already chosen a PIN or password. But here, you can change your sign-in option. Remove unwanted taskbar icon. After installing Windows 11, you will see some taskbar icons like Widgets, Task View, or Teams. If you don't want any of this, right-click any open part of your taskbar and right-click, then select Taskbar Setting. You can turn on or off these icons in the Taskbar Icon setting. And besides these icons, if you want more icons to remove, right-click on that specific icon and select Unpin from the taskbar. Pin your favorite app in the taskbar. If you have any app that you want to keep in the taskbar, then click the start icon, select all apps, and find that app you want to pin. When you find the app, right click on it and hover your mouse to more, and you will see the pin to taskbar option. Just select pin to taskbar. The most significant change in Windows 11 that will catch your eyes is its taskbar. Many people like it, and many don't. You can change the taskbar alignment. You can keep your taskbar in the middle or on the left side like Windows 10. To change the alignment, you have to go to the taskbar setting. For that, right-click any open part of your taskbar and select the taskbar setting. After that, choose taskbar behaviors and change the alignment. You can also turn on or off the auto-hide taskbar option from here. To customize your visual experience using Windows 11, right-click anywhere on your desktop and select Personalize. If you don't like the light theme, you can change it to dark by selecting color and dark from choosing your mode option. You can turn on or off the transparency effect. If you want to change the theme, go back and select theme. Here you can choose any of it and use it. You can also change your background, sound effect, or mouse cursor from this option. Last and most important step. You should make sure that antivirus protection is activated on your PC. With new kinds of malware, trojans, and viruses emerging now and then, you must prevent your PC from such threats. If you use the default antivirus in Windows 11, you can configure Windows Defender and turn on active protection against malware and virus. 
If you prefer some third-party antivirus like Avast Antivirus, Kaspersky Free Antivirus, or some other free antivirus, make sure you have correctly set up the antivirus program and activated it to protect your system against malicious programs. So guys, that's it for today. Hit the like button and subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, bye bye.